in our previous video we have seen how to apply validation to a reactive form that is by passing validator slot required as a second parameter for form control inside our profile.component.es and inside our profile.component.html we are checking this condition using validate first name and validate last name and we are providing this method not of this method that is whenever the conditions will become false that is when the form that is the first name field is valid and first name field is untouched not of this method so not of this method will become whenever this field is invalid and whenever it is touched then i want to display the validation message required on this uh, input field uh, but suppose if i have a requirement where i have want, i want to specify multiple validations for a particular field this is only applicable in case of a single validation for the particular field but if i want to apply multiple validations then what we want to do uh, let's see in this video so inside our profile.component.ts if you observe here we have provided validators dot required as a parameter along with this we also want to validate with the pattern in that case we want to we should use validators dot pattern and what is the required pattern which you want to validate you have to pass in z so we can pass as a to z capital a to z okay dot star asterisk so what does this mean this means that whenever the first name starts with a letter and followed by digit or something else then it is considered as a valid if this pattern is not matching that is if i am starting with a digit in the beginning instead of a letter in that case this will become invalid and once this becomes invalid what will happen validation message will be displayed what what validation message i want to display i have to specify inside our profile.component.html that we will see next okay mm -hmm. If you see here what is the error why it is getting displayed in red is it's because whenever we are passing validators as parameters this for this form control and we are trying to pass multiple validations then we have to pass it in the form of an array so here we have to enclose this insert square press which indicates array of validators i'm going to pass as a second parameter for this form control so this is one validator i'm passing and this is another validator which i'm passing okay so now this pattern which we have specified when this pattern is not matched then we have to display validation different validation message it should not be required validation message because we have entered that field we have entered with some value but that value is invalid so that specific validation message we have to include inside our profile.component.html so here after this we have to specify another condition over here stating that and condition that is profile form dot controls dot first name dot errors dot required okay dot required so here we are clearly stating that whatever the validation which we are going to specify inside our profile.component.ts that is errors dot required we are clearly specifying this indicates for this required validation which we are going to apply and for the other one whenever we want to check for another validation that is which match matches with this pattern i have to also specify with another emphasis here this is the condition this is the condition which we are checking previously along with this it also has to satisfy this this condition where it comes from it comes from first name dot errors dot required okay it will check from here this is the first validator which i am going to apply okay what about the second validator we have to pass again see we have to just copy this and let's make some changes over here so instead of providing profile.controls.firstname.errors.required instead of required we have to pass pattern 
it is a second validator, validator which we are checking here, right? This is the validator, second validator. First validator, we have specified over here, this condition, okay? And second validator, we are specifying over here with errors.pattern and required validation message which I have to display, we can provide over here. Instead of providing as required, here we can specify as must start with a letter. Must start with letter. Okay. That's it. So these are the changes which we have to do in order to make sure that multiple validation should work for our input field. Now let's save these changes which we have done so far. And let's run the project by making use of the command npm space start. A project is getting compiled. It's building modules. It got compiled successfully and it got hosted on localhost colon 4200. So let's open this inside our Google Chrome browser. Okay, let's open this. So this is our project. Okay, let's click on login. Let's provide required username and password and click on login. So we logged in successfully and we are able to see the welcome message over here. Let's click on this welcome message and now you need to observe over here. Whatever the validation, second validation which we have provided has to work now. So let's remove this. Okay, you can see the required validation message and rose gold color this box is getting changed. That is previous validator which we have already seen in our previous video. In this video, whatever we have specified the second validator, let's check now. Suppose I start with a digit, for example. See, you can see now that a different validation message is getting displayed for this input field. That is, must start with letter. Right, because I'm starting this with a digit and not a letter. That's the reason I'm able to see this validation message getting displayed. Suppose if I remove again, you can see the first validation message that is required validation message. If I am not entering anything, it will show required validation message. If I am providing a value which starts with a digit, then it will provide the different validation message which we have already configured in our Visual Studio. That is here. We have provided this pattern. It will check for this pattern. Okay. So both validation message that is multiple validation messages, we can apply for this input field. Suppose I am providing a valid value. For example, I am providing a valid value. Now you can see both the validation messages are not getting displayed. This, so this means to say that whatever the value we have provided in the input field is proper. That is correct. Only in case we are not providing a proper value and we are, we are violating this rule, whatever the conditions we have provided over here, only in that case the validation message will be displayed for this input field. So that's it. So this is how we can apply uh, multiple validations for our input fields in our form. Thank you so much for watching this video guys. Please like, comment and share this video and kindly subscribe to my channel in order to watch more videos.